All right, well, I'm hunting a, a station park here and uh, the EMI has gone crazy. Listen to what it sounds like. I'll just give you a split second to listen to what it sounds like. It's just chattery, constant. Everywhere in the park is constant. Even if I go down to like 17, 16 uh, sensitivity, it's just chattery. I have to go down to like about nine before the stops. Now it might be because of the power in the trains. I don't know, um, but I managed to find, I'm, I'm gonna leave this park because it, it's just, <clears throat> one thing I, I found that with this manicure is with this chatteriness, I've lost like a lot of depth. I don't know if it's just it's just sucking too much power because this particular coin sounded deep. Um, it was probably only um, three inches down. It was a wheat penny. It was about three inches down, but it sounded like it was five or six inches down. And I don't know if it's just because I'm having problems with this this interference. But I plan to not stay in this little area too much. I did meander through, didn't find anything. I got a target over there that was an iffy one that I'm just going to go dig. I, I don't like it very much. This one was super scratchy with all that chatter, but it was repeatable. I could hear it. And then I'll move on to uh, another location here shortly. But this is my, let's see, this would be like my fourth dig here at the park. My first one was a nail-ish or a, a screw, a quarter, a penny. And dime actually this is my fifth one and then this so. hey everybody I'm at a new park that I've never been to before I don't know how uh, I don't think I'm gonna have too much luck but I'll give it a spin I'm only gonna hunt this little section here and maybe a little bit of this up here um, you know it's definitely old enough to have silver in it I haven't marked on my map um, got kicked out of the school district which I've tried to contact many times for uh, clarification on the uh, schools, but I do have clarification on the parks. So what I've got here, so yeah, basically I'm hunting parks. I've got something here that looks like brass. I'm assuming it's a belt buckle. It's really thick and it's really heavy. Um, it's shiny as in brass right on the corners here. It's got some sort of writing on the front. It's down, um, it was down about six inches, and of course it blared, blared, I literally blared, that thick is as big as this thing is. Okay, so, weird thing is, it's got reverse writing, so maybe it's some sort of a stamp, but it's not etched very deep. So I can see something on there, but I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like the writing could be backwards on the top and the bottom. So, and, oh, I thought there might be a hole here in the corner, but there's isn't a hole. Anyways, give me a moment to clean this up a little bit and see if I can, maybe I'll just uh, try and get a picture of it and then I'll flip the picture around so that I can read it. Give me a moment and we'll see what this thing is. Interesting. Big block of brass that's in reverse. Some sort of printing thing. Oh, I can see it in the middle there. It's got like a little car. Now I can see a car. You can see a car there in the middle. Carriage, something, something. It's not a car, it's a stagecoach carriage. And something. Like I said, I'll get a I'll get a picture of that. But it's interesting that it's in reverse. I don't know why it would be in reverse. Like I said, the only thing I can think of is it's gotta be some sort of a stamp. But wow. Okay. Let's uh, clean up a little bit and get a picture and see what we can find out. You guys probably already know, I don't. All right, well, here's what it is flipped around. Here's the picture of the item. 
and it says Phillips and Suey carriage manufacturers and maybe they burnt this image or something into their in the wood or something so basically number 14 and 16 Filbert Street that's in Philadelphia uh, something I can't read the bottom there punctually attended to so I'll have to look up a date when this company was in service but I'm assuming it's probably old so very cool find very cool find um, I'll take it very neat all right well keep going um, you know maybe this isn't a fluke and maybe there is some old stuff sitting around here all right now this is an all metal well actually well yeah all metal hear the iron right there right there's iron but then right below it where'd it go or right above it actually there's And then go sideways. I got a big target over here. Anyways, it sounds so horrible when it's not um, in the headphones. Cause, but uh, there's there's something here. Get a ninety-five, ninety-eight right there. And come over here and turn. 9495. But it has to be a super, super tight wiggle. So this is this is this is this is a super iffy target. Super iffy. So we're gonna see if this is but see there's a there's a bigger target right there. Super shallow. And there is some iron right next to it because if I go just a little bit off target I get the grunts and the red lines But if I get right over the top of this in a small tight wiggle I get a I get a pretty good tone and of course the numbers stay consistent So I'm hoping that this is going to be a about a eight nine inch silver quarter or ring coming in about that 94 so let's see what we have it's probably oh, absolutely nothing but no i'm just kidding so we'll take our chances here and see what we got tight tight i hope i got the right spot got people coming in behind me anyways I think I might have to set stuff down here and dig a little bit more because the crown here actually is pretty hard and I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand so um, give me a moment here let me just get rid of all of this stuff nothing all right, hang on one sec. We'll get down to it, and we'll be right back. Well, I'm down to it, but it's not silver. As I can tell. It is right there. Can barely see it. So it is down. It was down about, let's see, right there. So it was down uh, almost, seven, almost eight, maybe seven and a half. And it looks to be... Oh, a penny. Get out of here. It's coming in really high, consistent. Can't tell, but it looks to be a 
Lincoln Penny. Oops. Wow, that's really bad condition. So Lincoln right there, and it's a one center on that side. So a weedy coming in, in that scratchy, but it was popping and staying in at 95. But see, the tone wasn't super clear and good, so it's a good learning curve for me because if it had been silver, I think it may have been a little bit crisper tone. But I'm happy to get that. It was uh, iffy um, down their ways. And we'll keep going. All right. Start the wheat penny clock. That's number one. And so far over in this whole field today, nothing. This is the first old target I've got so far. Let's see if it starts happening from here. I still have, I still have stuff from here over to the sidewalk which is right down there still this is still a couple hours probably three or four hours worth of work right here <laughs> so cut wind scent and I think that's two so far on today's hunt in this field Oh, look at that. Another weedy. So, three so far in this park. Four total today. And how many do I need to find before I find silver? Yeah. Same hole. Had two, two weedies. Alright, that's five for the day so far. So far. Alright, I don't know if this is, uh, what this is here. Not a good, good, solid signal in the headphones. I think it's going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be first. Cheap silver. All right, digging right there. So I'm at the target right here. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. So we're at eight inches to about the target. Come on, be silver. So that would be, if this is silver, that would be five wheats to the silver. Come on, show me some color. Oh, it's still deeper. It's right there. Oh, it's not silver. Oh, dang. Not silver. Blows a boo. But it's a weedy. Six weedies. Oh, yeah. And it's time for me to go, so 
or pretty close time to Nico. Well, I should check that one more time. Nope. Um, I still have, I'm so close to finishing this, this park area right here. So close. Gotta keep going. Another weedy. Lost track how many I've had now since my last silver. I think it's like, I think this is what, seven? Eight? I don't know. Anyway, it's gotta go. And I did kind of finish up this field a little fast. Um, so I may have missed a couple of things in here, but did pretty good. Um, no silvers in this whole section of the park. Uh, all the wheats, like six or seven wheats out of here though, as section one side. So, gotta go.